we've kind of changed over the years. Uh, we started off being just a straight custom high-end, you know, almost not many people could afford stone and we've kind of diversified. So it's hard to describe our shop now other than we get involved in a little bit of everything. We're probably 50-50 now, 50% digital and 50% template. I used to really think, you know, boy, I got five jobs next week. If that machine breaks down, I'm, I'm in big trouble. You know, it's like, what am I gonna do? Ever since we hooked up with Park and started buying their equipment, you lose that. I've lost that. I don't stress over machinery now. I'm not worried about what parts I have to stock on my shelf. There's a certain feeling that you have when you get home and you're getting ready to go to bed and you're not stressed over whether your equipment's gonna be running. Ever since then, it's just been a great relationship. I went with the Sabre because I needed to cut digitally. When we got into a large hotel chain and we're out there with a skill saw cutting, you know, a hundred radius tub decks, it gets old quick. Now I shoot it with a slab smith and give it a barcode. We can see the layout, how these grains are going to look. We can take it over to the Sabre and it'll run that plotted program a million times the same way every time. The Sabre's perfect, cuts it dead on every time. It's a perfect radius and the piece that goes underneath it is perfect. Now you can take off the same program and transition it over to your Titan and run your, your router bits, it's done. It's amazing to me. Guys now fight over using the Titan. They don't want to leave it. They like the way it runs and they're able to, it goes so much quicker. I'm more or less know from an owner's point of view, it's profitable, it's fast, it, it's very accurate and that's what we're after. One day we left a rather large wrench on the base of the machine when the table was in the up position. As the table came down, it pinched the wrench without anyone knowing, snapped all the carrier bearings that hold the table on, the table shifted. Naturally, the operator doesn't, you know, he's scared to death. The machine just broke on him. He doesn't want to um, be totally truthful what happened because basically he shouldn't have left a, a wrench there. So we didn't get the correct story we just called Park and said, you know, hey, we got a problem here. They flew a tech out here the next day with all, all the parts and more were shipped overnight here. That machine was up and running by midday the next day, which is unbelievable. When you get a company that says, hey, we got it, we understand, that's huge. That's kind of when I sat back and went, you know, this is the right way to go.